Now here's a look at April for Capricorn. Your best days in April are going to be the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. This is when the moon sign will be in Capricorn. And this is when you are at high tide. There will be a noticeable slowdown when the Mercury retrograde begins on April 21st. And when the moon sign, or your ruling planet Saturn, passes through Capricorn, we all become our own teacher as the former us or our inner child shows the way. Now here's a look at the Earth sign Capricorn for the month of April. In week number one, the uh, things that come to you now seem to be endless. Everything is coming your way and it comes just as you need it. And you are the winner this week of the reward that you were seeking. In week number two, a happy ending. This is your reward for having done what had to uh, be done. In week number three, the only thing better than getting what you want is knowing that you already have everything that you need. And in week number four, the time for words is over. It is time to take action and back up what you've said so others will uh, know that you mean what you say. Now, here's a look at your career in the month of April. In week number one, you have taken all of the steps that are necessary. And now that new job that you've been looking at can be yours if you'll ask for it. In week number two, you become a uh, hero. You've saved your co-workers who were really in over their heads. And uh, you stepped forward and got the job done. In week number three, you know you won when you're content with what life is offering to you. And in week number four, you're advised not to uh, cry over what's lost because there are still others right there asking you to lead them into the future. Now, here's a look at April in your uh, finances. The first week of the month, this is the week to invest and invest in what affects your heart by the way of your eyes and ears and that's uh, entertainment. In week number two, when a job morphs from work into play, you know that you have reached the right spot and the ideal job and you're working with the right people. In week number three, you take off for one place but you land in another altogether. And this mistake is necessary to put you where you need to be. In week number four, you're able to go to the one who needs you the most and with their help, accomplish the uh, dreams that you and they have. So that's a look at your days in April, according to your sun sign. Now here's a look at your nights in April according to the moon sign. In week number one, the week of the full moon, which rises in Libra, the dreams that come this week are about your intimate relationships. They come to show you where you stand in the eyes of your uh, other. And in week number two, the week of the last quarter moon that rises in Virgo. So the dreams that come this week are about your habits, both good and bad. They come to show you the worth of your habits. In week number three, the week of the new moon that rises in Taurus, the dreams here are about the material world possessions you're going to receive in the future if you're willing to put in the necessary work right now. In week number four, the week of the first quarter of the moon, which rises in Leo. So the dreams and the visions that come now are a wake-up call from your inner child saying, come play, don't be so serious. That's a look at the month of April for the Earth sign Capricorn. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.